Police has obtained pictures from the private lab that says it found radioactive contaminated materials in a fluorescent school. They are just the beginning of what Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes is uncovering in this nuclear material controversy. The president of the Jana Elementary PTA believes we could have learned about a possible nuclear contaminated school years ago, except for what she called continued resistance from the Army Corps of Engineers. For all those years that they told me they didn't have any information about Jana, they did have information about Jana Elementary, but unfortunately they were unwilling to share it. Ashley Bernot said she fought for years to get the government's test results from contaminated Coldwater Creek next to the school. They said, no, it's up to the property owners to provide that. And so I, of course, reminded them that this is a public school. Then this past May, she noticed this bobcat next to the school that had been digging in the contaminated creek. Full of dirt and sat by the, the corner of the school where the kids were going to walk by at three o'clock. And so I was frantically calling the, the Army Corps of Engineers and to try to get someone to move this heavy piece of equipment before the kids came and, and you know, found their new piece of playground equipment covered with radioactive dirt. It raised more questions about contamination possibly reaching the school. These are pictures from August when private company Boston Chemical Data Corp sampled the school grounds and inside the elementary school. This picture, a child's tricycle, the testing company tells Fox 2 came from a storage room found to contain microscopic particles of radioactive thorium. It breaks my heart to know that um, the kids have been exposed for decades to this stuff, you know, just our babies. Missouri Coalition for the Environment's Kristen Camuso. It's taken till 2022 to even inform parents. Camuso learned in these documents requested under the Freedom of Information Act that the Army Corps of Engineers had been trying to get permission to enter Jana Elementary as far back as 2016. The Army Corps of Engineers wrote what are called right of entry permits to the Hazelwood School District, saying they need permission to enter your property to perform the investigation and sampling, and if contamination is found, to perform any necessary soil removal and remediation. It's not surprising that there was the interest shown. What's surprising is that no one was informed about it. We reached out to the Hazelwood School District and also to the Army Corps of Engineers for responses. Neither would answer Fox 2. The Jana Elementary PTA tonight is asking the government to collaborate with private company Boston Chemical in future efforts to get answers for families. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.